Hello, I'm Will Sampson from FDMC Magazine and the Woodworking Network. We're in the shop today to talk about rotary tools. Now I know what you're saying and what you're thinking. Oh, that's just an underpowered little router that's not good for much of anything except hobbyists. Well, I've found that there's lots of uses in a pro shop for these kinds of tools depending on what you do. Um, if there's anything that you do that's small detailed work and carving, then the rotary tool may be a great solution to your needs. However, I've hated them with the cords on because the whole value of this kind of a tool is that you can do detail work and the cord gets in the way. But now, Dremel, which the company that invented the tool and is synonymous with the tool, people like call it like a Dremel as generic, uh, has come out with some cordless options. And they sent me one to play with, which is the uh, Dremel 7350. Um, let's see what's in the box. There's the tool. Look, Ma, no cord. Instructions. A USB cable for easy charging. And a handful of tools. Now, this will work with any of the hundreds of tools that have been developed for Dremel rotary tools. Um, it's particularly useful for. Uh, uh, little detail work in, you know, grinding, um, sanding. I'm going to put a tool in here. And then we're going to put the uh, the sanding wheel drum on here. And there's a little tool here that has the screwdriver function. And just tighten it up. And then we use the wrench part here with there's a collet lock and we can tighten it up. And then we can turn it on. And then it's great for sanding in places like this. Now granted this is a turning, so you probably sand it on a lathe just as easily. But this works really good. Another thing you'll notice is how quiet it is. Most of the cordless ones that I've used are quite a bit noisier than that. There's also very little vibration. Um, you can get, you know, little dental burr type things that you could do intricate carving and, and in, I've used it for inlays on uh, musical instruments where I've like inlaid my signature into the headstock on a, on a musical instrument. Um, so there's, you know, in polishing, there's all sorts of things that you can do with it. Um, you know, as far as the power, this is uh, 12,000 RPM, and it's just a 4-volt uh, cordless battery that's in, embedded inside it. Uh, to charge it, you open up the rear end and plug it in with your USB cord, and then there's an LED light that indicates uh, when it's fully charged. Um, so it's real easy to operate. Um, and I haven't found that it's that underpowered for most things you're going to do. I most recently um, was using this with a uh, uh, a spiral saw rotary type tool um, and that was handy put that in here so it's fast and easy to change the bits and it'll take the all the standard size bits that Dremel tools will take. This kind of a rotary saw tool is great for cleaning up outlet holes 
and for electrical outlets in cabinets. If you're doing like kitchen cabinets and you've got uh, an outlet hole that doesn't quite match up to where you need to go, you can carve up the little difference with this. Um, and it, you know, nice and quiet, works really well. And, uh, um, you know, definitely a tool that you're not going to use necessarily all the time, but it's a tool that when you need it, it's great to have it on the shelf. And that makes it really easy to use with a, you know, a cordless setup too. And I just really like not having to deal with that dangling cord on this. And then if you really get into using these, I mean, there's all sorts of attachments. I mean, this is a, you can turn it into like a router uh, with this kind of a, a deal. Um, so, you know, your, your mileage may vary, but uh, I like these little rotary tools for uh, all sorts of things. And uh, having it in a cordless option uh, is, uh, definitely an improvement it's the uh, Dremel 7350 there's another one that I haven't tried yet that they have that's more of a pro grade heavy duty one uh, that uh, uh, I'm hoping to give that a try sometime soon and I'll let you know how that works out but that one should add a little bit more power uh, and uh, longer charge time and, and more durability for professional use but this is a good start if you're uh, just thinking about adding a, a rotary tool to your collection. Well, that's what we've got for today. Uh, you can see more tool reviews uh, and the latest industry news at woodworkingnetwork.com or in the pages of FDMC Magazine. Thanks for watching.